All right. Uh, not the result we wanted. Uh, we came into this game with a clear-cut plan or things that we felt like we had to get accomplished or had to see improvement in. One of those things was starting faster. First team offense, turn the ball over first possession when it looked like we started to move the ball. Okay, defense was able, looked like they came out of the gates ready to go despite being on the, on the short field. Second possession, I thought the offense looked like we, we started to work pretty efficiently in both run and pass. So that was one of the things we talked about we had to do, which was get things going fast and be ready for the tempo of real game. I was encouraged about that. Um, capitalize on opportunities was another thing we wanted to do. I thought, you know, Arenas with the big return, turning that into a touchdown with the net, with the with that possession was a sign of capitalizing on 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 good things that we make happen. So that was encouraging. Defensively, we wanted to make sure we were able to stop the run. First half, I know we were real good in that area. You know, pretty stout. Looked like guys were doing it the way they're supposed to do it and playing pretty tough. Uh, second half slipped a little bit. Um, you know, which we got to hold the entire game, but some encouraging things there. No turnovers. Okay, that's got to, that was one of the things we wanted to do was create some. We had some tip balls that looked like chances for our defense to, to get the football. Didn't get it done. You know, that's something we got to get right back to work on because we've got to be an opportunistic defense. Um, overall, I think uh, there were some good uh, signs out there. I thought our quarterback operated real efficiently, ran the operation. Uh, in a manner that he will have to for us to be successful. Thought we were able to run the ball uh, for the most part, which looked real encouraging. I don't know our final number, 130 yards or so. Thought all, all the backs that were getting touches looked like they ran pretty good, specifically uh, Thomas with a couple of real big critical runs early for us. Um, Jamal looked like he was running uh, uh, closer to where we want him. And then this Jackie Battle came in and did a real good job. Um, Defensively, we got we to gotta tackle. Offensively, we can't turn the ball over. If we do those things, we probably have a better chance to win. Well, I think just that stopping the you know, one of our key, we know we have to stop the run. Something we didn't do last year was stop the run and put us in all kinds of poor situations. You know, we went out there tonight, and I believe against a pretty good Atlanta team last week, despite not starting the way we wanted to start. We didn't, it took us a, a series to get our legs under us. We played pretty good against the run as far as average goes. You know, tonight, I think it was another pretty good example of that, especially you know, for the first half or so in this game. It looked like you know, guys were doing the things they have to do. Now we have to tackle. You know, uh, we can't allow 50-yard pass plays you know, because for any reason, you know, when we have a chance to get the stop. Big plays is something that will hurt us last year. We did a good job last week. This week we allowed, you know, at least one real big one in a return. So, you know, we, that's an area we got to be a good tackling team, and that's, that's what we're going to be. In your terms, uh, is Brandon Flowers a guy who gets it? I mean, where is he in that regard? Well, I think that uh, uh, Brandon – is another one of those guys that had a pretty difficult offseason. Um, sucked it up last year and played really tough football. Showed us all a lot about himself, you know, which is he's a tough-minded player with some with a, a bunch of skill that I think he can be a real good corner in the league, you know. And we're really excited about Brandon Flowers. That being said, he had a, a, a difficult offseason. We're trying to ease him back into it. You know, we, we're that's part of my job, making sure that we're – we're not doing too much, but we're doing enough. And, and, um, but I, I feel good about Brandon Flowers. I mean, I know he's feeling bad about not making a tackle. He's trying to make a play there. He just, you know, he's got to be playing enough to be sharp in those situations. And, I'm, and Brandon is not one of the guys right now that I'm real worried about not getting it. I think Brandon's on board, and he's got a chance to be a real good player for us. You, uh, is that why he came out of the game and you were trying to manage him at that point? Or was there an yeah, well, no, no. We had a clear cut plan for Brandon that, you know, depended upon what Tampa was doing. If it were a running game, we didn't want to just put Brandon Flowers, who I know is a tough, no, hard-nosed corner that will come up and support the run. I didn't, this is kind of what I talked about during the week. I'm not just going to put one of our better players in there to beat his head against the wall. So we were going to get him out of regular, put him in nickel, hoping to keep him in some pass situations where he could get the work 
necessary to keep himself sharp. And, you know, again, you know, I know he'll learn from that, and he's not one of the players that I'm, you know, worried about. I think this guy's got a chance to really help us. He's a guy on board. Heard all week about we got to get some turnovers. We got to get some turnovers. Yeah, he's being aggressive. Yeah, that's what it's a fine line. Yeah. It's a fine line, and you don't ever want to take that stinger away from those guys. You know, it's a, it's similar with some of the pass interference or illegal contacts. You know, we're we're trying to get these guys to be aggressive, think aggressive, but at the same time, when they got to make that split second reaction or decision, you know, when 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 they're playing the way we need them to play, hopefully they're making the correct one most of the time. Um, you know, again, this guy's a, a young player that has has a, a certain skill set that is unique at times. You know, but. That's what it is right now. You know, it's it, he can run fast. He can do some of those things. So we, we, we really don't know what we have there. You know, he got thrown into the game. You know, we want, had a couple plays that you know, or a series that he was going in that then turned into a longer series, and all of a sudden, you know, he was in there. You know, and I, I, I got to be honest. I don't know if it was uh, planned or not with right down there at the end. But um, he's he's got some skill. He's a hard worker, you know, that's doing the things necessary to try to ma make a place for himself, you know, with the Chiefs. And, you know, heck, I'm, I'm encouraged with the way he's working. He got a chance to make a play, and he did it. That's good. Um, he's, they're keeping him overnight here. It sounded, you know, extremities, all those things were good. Um, now they're going to make sure of everything, but at least from that standpoint, it sounded encouraging. And and uh, our prayers are with Maurice and his family. But uh, like I said, when you hear extremities moving, all those things good, that, that, that's positive. How difficult is it, regardless of the circumstances, for the guys to focus on football or something like that? Well, it is football, you know, and I, I unfortunately have been part of games, you know, back in with the Jets in Detroit in 98 when um, the Texas linebacker went down. And, and though, whenever those kind of things happen, it's uh, it, it takes it takes a, an extreme amount of focus to try to keep your mind because all these guys care about each other. We're becoming a family and a pretty tight knit group, it appears to me. And and so you do. You know, I think it's only natural to to worry about one of your your, your teammates. And and I know all the guys. You know, we said a little prayer, and all the guys were saying their private prayers to to make sure Maurice is 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 going to be good to go. Which it, you know, I'm encouraged about, and that's just part of the game. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.